by the time that you're seeing this, it's definitely after hell. Welcome back to another unboxing. And I just realized I didn't bring an eye with me, so. Anyway, I only have two today. My book of the month hasn't made it here yet, so I've only got the SpongeBob one that I just opened the first one that I had received and signed up for the last SpongeBob unboxing. Um, and I've just got like a one singular Amazon package. So um, that's all I've got. I don't have the book of the month one today. So we're just doing the SpongeBob unboxing plus a bonus one. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in. But first, I have to get my handy dandy knife out of here so I can open the SpongeBob box. So, I wasn't gonna say this. I, this, the shipping to this one got delayed. Um, they sent me an email and said that for whatever reason, it had been delayed and they would contact me when they knew it had shipped out. So I don't think that it was supposed to come this close to Halloween because uh, the day I'm filming this is um, October 29th. So, and I've got a wedding tomorrow that I got to go to. So I won't get to edit, film, and publish this before I attend said wedding. So this, where is the front? Okay, so this is the front of said box. So, and I actually don't know what's in here. Um, I may have gotten spoiled for one item on Instagram, but we got the cheat sheet cards. This is what's in here. So. Oh, this is the save $10 um, with the rewards program, and this is the cheat sheet. But I do kind of like the front of that, actually. I tried not to look at that cheat sheet, but I did see a couple of things, but nothing in depth. So, ooh, I just, I didn't get to see this. I know you've already seen it. That's cute. Very cute. So, I got another vinyl figure. Oh, and it's a glow-in-the-dark um, Patrick. Although last time I opened a vinyl figure, I couldn't get it back in the package. So, oh, and he's on a stand like the other Sandy was. So that's actually really cool. Although I don't know how he's going to stand on the stand. Because he doesn't have, oh yes he does. These are always in here like so tight. So this is... Patrick, it's really cute. And here's the stand. Him and the stand. And I'm not going to poke the hole in it just yet because it does look like it just kind of punctures through to remain standing. That's really cute. Like, I wonder like how many click together like that go in unison. Ooh, they have a ceramic handle holder that one's definitely like 110 percent Halloween. like they're not going to be able to pretend this one isn't <laughs> very cute i would definitely put that out with my halloween decorations like the like you could put like with the fake little tea lights in there actually it should have come with a tea light personal opinion but because that's really cute Oh, nah. -uh. They have a light switch cover. I'm sure the plastic just glared off of that, so. I don't know if that makes it better. Um, love, love that. I'm, I'm putting that up somewhere in, in my room. I'm putting that up. And then they have 
the Scary Movie postcard set. And it has... doesn't tell me how many. Um, the Friends postcards had four. So, let's see. Oh, oh my, there's lots in here. So, there is two of each one. These feel like stickers or something. I wonder if they are. Wow. So, you have two of the... She came from Texas. Two of the SpongeBob has hit rock bottom. And then you have two of the Beware the Hooks. I remember an episode uh, where they were <laughs> swinging on the hooks. Um, I remember the rock bottom episode. See, that one, that one was a hit for it. And then we have what is this? I don't know what this is. It's got black all over it though. Um, I'm gonna skip this one. I come back to it because I can't tell what it is. It looks like a picture, but I can't tell. There is a long sleeve t-shirt that looks like it's got like a scary movie logo similar to the postcards, but you get the first look at it. I hope it's cool. Is it cool? I gotta know. Ah, I like that. I like that lots. The, the design doesn't feel terrible. Like, it's not as bad as the... The tank top wasn't terrible, but this one's definitely... It feels better than the tank top did. And the, the shirt is so soft. Like, the shirt itself is soft. Okay, I'm gonna look at my cheat sheet to figure out what this last item is. Okay. Okay. I guess if I had opened it, I would have known. Um, I'm, this is what it looks like with the plastic on. I'm sure it's glaring. Um, it's a black velvet... art print and now I'm kind of afraid to open it like what if the velvet if this is velvet on the inside is it gonna get everywhere okay it's cooler outside of the package definitely a cool I would frame that and put it up 100% I'm gonna put it back in the plastic wrapping though because I don't well, want anything to happen to it Of course I can't get it back in the plastic wrap. What the heck? Well. 20 minutes later. That was not working. That was a technical difficulty and a half. The next thing I have, because I had to slow myself because I, I skipped ahead by accident, is the enamel pin. Um, if the plastic glared, allow me to just take it out. And that's cute. This is like, this is heavy. This is a good enamel pin. And it's like set down in there too. I wonder, like these are, these are nice. I don't know where I'm going to put all these enamel pins that I'm getting with the boxes. I wish I had like a, a cork board or something to put them on. That would be cool. Um... I, I liked the Spongebob box. I don't even know if I have a favorite because I really liked everything. Like, I actually felt that everything in here was quality. Um, I liked my last box, but I definitely feel that what's in this one was higher quality than what was in the last one. The last one seemed like the target was definitely kids, which I understand. But um, this target group seems like it was actually for the age group that's going to pay for these subscription boxes. So, LS. This one's only got one option in it, so I'm 
supposed to, how am I supposed to open this? Should I go this way? I'm going to. They put this in such a wild box. So much box for what? Like, for what? Okay, so I bought, or had to buy, another copy of Tender is the Flesh because the copy that I had, I took to the beach and then it got wet and it was all ugly and then I was, I was fine with that. And then I brought it home and I was just going to keep reading it and I literally lost it. I had no idea where it went. Could not find this book. So, I had to order me a new one from Amazon, and I'm convinced that I had to have left it in public somewhere. So, there's that. Um, so, I have already started reading this. I haven't finished it because I lost it, but I plan to finish reading this, and let me go get it. I was not prepared to say that sentence. The Sun Dog by Stephen King. Hopefully, I finish these, and they are in my next recent read. And that is everything that I had for today. I hope this went as well and y'all had as much fun watching me open that as I had opening that. Um, I had I had a really good time with that. Um, and I will see you in another video. Bye.